Hi, I'm Nick Pregnance with Calibrated Power Solutions, and this is Scott Hendricks, General Manager. In front of me here, I have a fuel pressure relief valve, a part that causes all sorts of chaos in our organization with diagnostic troubleshooting calls, fixes, and whatnot. Uh, Scott, why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience with that guy? Oh, this guy here. This is definitely for a uh, for such a small part. It can definitely cost you a lot, a lot of horsepower. Um, symptoms that you've you've got issues with this. You're gonna kick a couple codes. Uh, P0087. Uh, the 1093 on the LB7. 1093. Yep. So you see any of those at all? I mean, it, it may not be this, but this is. It, it, it could very well be this one. And with it, it's, it's a fifty dollar part to replace. Um, and two hours for, for someone with uh, four fingers and nine thumbs. <laughs> I don't know. You know, 15 minutes for, so, for a normal person from what I've been told. So it's... it's uh, if you know. it comes out nice, it's a pretty quick deal. It's an 18 millimeter plug on the back of the driver's side fuel rail on an LLY, LBZ, LMM. Uh, typically goes pretty smooth. Take the glow plug module off, get your wrench on. Assuming Sasquatch didn't tighten it, you'll be able to get to it pretty quick. Pressure spikes are bad. Yes. And having that in the system is, 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 Bosch put that there to make sure that the fuel system doesn't go to the moon. Unfortunately, when running high performance tunes, we're asking a little bit more of that fuel system than what the factory had designed. Yes. So what's gonna happen is under situations where you're, you're under throttle and maybe you let off real quick, there is, there, there is gonna be a, a fuel spike because, you know, like. It's, like natural, it's a natural tendency. Exactly. The regulator can't turn off quick enough and all of a sudden, Things spike. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and you got, and that's what happens is, is this little valve here, spring compresses, lets a little fuel off, drops rail pressure. Yep. Once that happens, it, there's a tendency for it to do it yeah, over and over I mean, again. This, so. this thing's not a, it's not a perfect seat, mm -hmm. you know, and it might get a little cocked in there. The spring might get uh, worked, and yep. it's, it's kind of a one-time use deal. Uh, to use it every time you floorboard the truck and let off, not designed for that. Mm -mm. And what we start to see in the data logs is that the truck will be running at full rail pressure and then boom, down to 13,000 PSI in no time. Yep. Big cloud of black smoke, yep. lack of power, EGTs go through the roof and an 0087 code. Phone call to us. Phone call to us. Phone call to us. We will send you this part and two days later, you'll be super happy with the way your truck runs again. Yeah. Simple fix. Um, your factory O-ring is just you just reuse that. It doesn't come with an O-ring. That's one thing a lot of guys oh, ask yeah. questions Mention about. That. So definitely uh, torque to spec. Not something you want to put on loosely. Mm -hmm. um, get that sucker in there. Yep. It's 20, 26, 29,000 psi depending on what fuel system you're on. Uh, you want to make sure it's you want to make sure it's tight. Mm -hmm. On a uh, Duramax, where where we're typically where do you think you find it? Uh, back of the fuel rail, underneath the glow plug module. So you want to move the glow plug module, get your 18 millimeter wrench on there. You may want to link it with another wrench so you can get some good, good grab on there. Uh, you'll notice whoever uh, took this one out maybe didn't have the best grab on it the first time. It's embarrassing. Um, six seven Cummins. Six seven Cummins. Very easy to see right at the front of the rail, kind of tucked in there by that. In, by the uh, inlet, inlet air horn. horn yeah, yeah, inlet air horn. So. A lot easier on that truck on mm -hmm. the 6.7. So initially we thought that there might be a problem if you could not get rid of that excessive fuel. So mm -hmm. if you put this plug in there, well, isn't the fuel system going to see super high pressures? Well, no, we logged it. We've sold hundreds of these things. Mm -hmm. um, they don't cause failures. In certain scenarios on sled pulling trucks with three CP3s and 33,000 pounds of rail pressure, we've seen injector bodies crack. That is not going to happen on your daily driver 500, 700, 800 horsepower truck. Yep, we never, and we're, and we're the ones usually writing the calibrations, and so we know exactly what is gonna happen in there, and that's, it, that's never, never. Yeah, we don't command that kind of crazy mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, I'm Nick. I'm Scott. Thanks for watching. <laughs>